Welcome back guys to a new Boom Bitch video and in this video we are going to tell you some updates that we've made to the tech tree. So we have upgraded a couple of things. So first of all we've upgraded some riflemen and we we've made some of these upgrades mainly because we had like over 7 million upgrade tokens over here. So I thought I'd just use it to backfill and upgrade a few things. So what I've done is max out the riflemen because we do use Kavan and he sometimes brings back riflemen. It would be nice to nice to have the riflemen maxed out. We've done that, we've maxed out the critters, you know, we, we put our critters quite uh, uh, every single attack a couple of times, so it's gonna be nice to have like 12 critters coming out instead of like 4. So that's gonna be nice. So we did, we also maxed out Kavan there. We didn't upgrade smokes or anything, because it's actually better to have smokes uh, duration 8 seconds and not like 12 seconds, because we only want to smoke our, smoke our bombardiers or heavies for a short amount of time. And no need to upgrade the medics yet. Pretty much everything else in the tech tree is maxed out. Uh, I haven't upgraded the mechs yet because I'm still using uh, heavies, heavies and cryoneers. So um, unless I use them, I will max them out. But for right now, we do have the combo energy. We were able to go ahead and get that. And now we're just going to go ahead and get either the troop damage or else the troop health. To be honest, I'm probably leaning towards the troop damage first. You know, it will let us get through the base a little bit quicker. So that's it. Oh yeah, and we've also upgraded our cryoneers. So where are they? So now their their beam extension goes up to seven. So that's pretty helpful. And here's the base. Let's get back into an attack. We have fallen out of rank 20 there, but if we win this attack, we'll be right back up there in rank 20. Let me know how you guys get along as well, guys, down in the comments below. What rank you guys are at, uh, what what level engine rooms, and maybe what attack strategy as well. Because now that we've uh, unlocked most of the tech tree, there's quite a few attack strategies that we can choose from. So this base is pretty much like mine. It's gonna take it's gonna take me a while to get through this base. So what I think I might do is try to do a split drop. Um, hope hopefully that might work. So I'm gonna drop two over here. Flare straight on to that boom ca uh, boom cannon. One, one, two, and as that boom cannon goes down, these troops will now go up to the go up to these defenses there. So these defenses. Uh, let's do a shock over here straight away. The critter launcher is coming into play. Uh, but I think I'll do is I'll drop the pioneers on that side because I feel like they're probably gonna go up against you know some of these buildings either there or else over here. And it'll be nice for them to freeze them. Uh, let me drop critters on the machine gun there. That will help to distract that boom cannon. Okay, I'm not sure where to drop Kavan. We don't really need him right now. Might drop him down in a second. Okay, so let's drop down Kavan now and do another second wind. Let's do a shock as well. We lost another... Bombardier, let's do a second win and bring him back, so that's nice. Okay, we didn't do a shock there, we just smoked there by some mistake, man. That's uh we wasted a little bit of GB there, but hopefully not too much. Now that you had attacks going, let's do a uh, critter over here. We have one bombardier on that side, which is not good. We need to bring back some more bombardiers on that side, hopefully. Let's do a uh, shock. We will have to... Okay, let's come over here actually, since we don't since we're Following this path is not going to be good because there's no engines over there. Let's try and do a reflare and keep them on the side that we want. So there's the crying years coming to play. Opponent's already down too, which is not very good, guys. I knew this base would take a while. Okay, so there we are. I and we still have this one to go and we still have that one up there as well. Yeah, this might take me to full attack. I'm hoping to see a retreat, but I don't think so. He's on two left. Yep, okay, I don't think I'm going to see a retreat over here. Okay, what I'll do is, I think after after this laser beam, let's do flares and get a, get a move on. Even though we have lost already, I don't, I don't want to spend too long attacking this base. We have, we have so many bombardiers here that we can simply just flare, hopefully. Let's do another flare. Let's do a flare. That was a that was a med kit by accident, guys. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a shock as soon as the hot pot comes up. I think right about now the hot pot might come up there. Okay, nice. Let's do a second wind over here. I think a few bomb deers did die. So one minute, yeah, less than maybe, yeah, less so one minute seven seconds. Uh, so that troop damage is definitely gonna help us if we can attack, uh, unlock it, which we should be able to do right now. But let me see how much we lost by. One minute thirty-five. Let's see what the attack strategy was. Is he using like critters? I mean, not critters, seekers. Heavies, heavies and bombing. Okay, yeah, okay, standard attack. Okay. Okay, this is it. So this should really help us. Let's go all the way down to the end of the tech tree. It's been quite a few seasons since I've been at the end of the tech tree, guys. So pretty nice to achieve that. But you know, it's it's not gonna be worth it unless we can get up to rank twenty-one. So that should be pretty good. Next up is troop damage or troop health, I believe. Troop, troop health. Okay, so we have an end room advantage and we have all this extra damage as well. So that should help us. What I'll do is drop one and just drop one over here as well. Let them go down and I'll flare straight onto that mortar. And then drop all these troops over here. Okay, nice. That should be a nice flare point. Let's drop some critters over here. And I'll drop the cryoners on that side since that's where all the defenses are. We do have a hot pot in the center and a couple of heavies and bombardiers here are going up to that hot pot. Or not hot pot, sorry. The flotsam. Let's do it. Let's bring out Kavan and do a second wind. We need to do a shock over here as well. And we need to shock the critter launcher. We need to take out this boom mine as well. Boy, there's a lot of stuff. Let's do a second wind here. I think we might have lost some bomb gears or something. Okay. Those coiners are doing an excellent job freezing those buildings. The seven beam extension really is really nice. Okay, let's do some second wind over here. And a little sh shock. I have a single bomb here going down there. We'll just let him go down there. No need to flare or anything. Hopefully he'll do a bit more damage there. Okay, we've got a nice amount of buildings up. We should like, farm up some GBE for some shocks over here. For that hot pot and shock launcher. Okay, that bomb here down here is doing pretty nice work. So this one, MVP right there, guys. Lone bomb here going up, up to that ender room. Let's do a shock over here. Okay, okay, we do have... A doom cannon up there as well, so we need to put some critters down ASAP. Okay, that that bombardier is going to be able to take out that engine room, but it's going to be quite a while. Uh, and we don't have any barrage or artillery to help them with. Alright, let's throw down some more critters on that doom cannon, keep that down. We're running out of frontline troops here. Okay, hopefully these two engine rooms will go down at the same time. Nope, unfortunately not, he's already taken us down. And let's flare. Okay, we don't need to flare, it's gonna go down. 1 minute 42, that was definitely quicker, but you know, we had the end room advantage and the extra troop damage there. Let's see how, what he did. I'm guessing heavy, heavy chopper bombardiers again. 1 minute 55, I guess we were close enough, but that's definitely not good. Oh, I think he went all heavies here, is it? Oh no, okay. Let's do 4x, see what's happening. Did he do anything? He has quite a lot of area to cover, so. I might have to move one end room down here, perhaps, just, just to keep the end room spread out across the base more. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I might have to do that. Uh, I'll move this end room as well, actually, in the future. And he had some artillery as well, not bad, okay. Okay, I think let's just... We can't upgrade the next thing yet, but uh, let's move our engine room over here actually, because I feel like we need to move that. Let's move it right over here. Okay, this is... Let's move this one down here, and I don't know guys, I'm just putting it down there. Okay, let's see if, it, let's see if this works. There. <laughs> There's barely anything there, hopefully this might deter some people there 
Um, okay, okay, let's get back into one more attack and then we'll call it a day. So let's try and get back up to rank 20 at least, you know, fingers crossed here. Okay, we're both at rank 20. Okay, I'm going up against one of these clustered bases, which I had in the beginning, but it wasn't working out for me. Let me bring out the Cryoneers there, drop, delay drop uh, heavy. Bring out Kavan. And I think we'll just let them go ahead and start from here and go up. You know, we will constantly have that rocket over there hitting us, but we just have to take it. With that extra shoot damage, I'm hoping that we will be able to, you know, get through the base quick enough. We could also unlock the laser rangers as well. They would really help against these types of bases. So that's an option as well, but I think I want to get the... I'm going to drop my last boat there. I want to get the troop health first and then go back and get the laser rangers perhaps. So let me put down some critters. Let's do a second win. I think we lost a few bombers around. Let's shock the critter launcher there. Throw down another critter there and we've got a nice batch of heavies coming up to reinforce the front line. Let's do a shock over here guys. Oh, that boom cannon right there, hitting us from the side. That's exactly why I had my boom cannon installed before. Let's do a second wind. I think we can bring back that bomb jerk that we did. That's great stuff. If we can get past this clustered area, we'll be doing good. Let me do uh, critters on that. Okay, we're losing quite a lot of troops over here. Okay, we need to do a shock or else uh, second wind ASAP. Okay, I need to do a med kit over here as my bomb deers are going to die. Oh, I think we're going to fizzle. Okay, what can we do? Okay, let's do a second wind. If Kavan can stay up alive long enough to do it. Okay, he, he stayed up alive, but he's dead there. <laughs> and the rockets are going to hit us. Nope, we just lost it. Hopefully the opponent, I'm going to see a retreat here soon. Am I? Do I want to retreat? Yeah, I'll, I'll just retreat, you know. I'll just retreat and spectate the opponent. So, yeah, he's going to take it as, take us out, I'd say. It's going to be a while, but he's definitely still going to take us out. He's got these two end rooms down already. Laser beam, come on, do your job. Perhaps we need to put a boom cannon over there, actually. That might be nice. Yeah, we need to, we'll move this boom cannon over there. Yeah, maybe I need to change up the base a little bit more as well. Um, so that's going to be nice. You can see he didn't even go go through some of these shock mines and boom mines there. So we'll we'll try out a different type of base in the next video. And we'll see how it goes. But, you know, fingers crossed we're at, we're at the end of tech tree now. We should have all the tools we need to progress up to diamond. And hopefully this opponent is going to flare. He's going up against the critter launcher there. There's a shock, there should be a shock mine right behind that. Yeah, there it is there. Okay, okay guys, let's just go back to the base. Enough seeing him. Take a look at the tech tree. I do want to try and get some mines as well. That'll definitely help against the bombardiers. But other than that, mines, you know, depending on how many days are left and how much uh, chests we're able to collect and the keys that we get, we'll start to go back. So the first thing, the plan will be to go down and get this one, troop health, and then perhaps get the laser rangers, and also definitely the sky shield, because that will definitely slow down the opponent. They won't be able to flare or throw down barrage at the end room. So guys, that's the plan. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.